For any skill, hobby, or craft, there are different stages of learning. No one starts as a master of their craft, and the process of learning varies from person to person. Today, I want to talk about the several stages of learning a fighting game as a beginner. When I hear the phrase, beginner in a fighting game, I think it could mean someone who has never played a game, up to someone who can complete combos but doesn't really have a solid grasp on the flow of a game. It's hard to judge when someone stops being a beginner, since we're always learning something and improvement is not linear. I'm not here to argue where beginner starts and ends, but rather some different stages of what I believe is a beginner in a fighting game. This may apply to how you learn different games, or how you learn different characters within games. Alright, let's get... You're just button mashing. Alright, wait, let's hold up. I didn't intend this to sound like a derogatory stage of learning. I often call this my mashing phase when I'm testing the waters of a game. Actually, let's, let's just call it that. This is the absolute beginner in many senses. At this stage, the player is looking to visually and mechanically feel their way around a game. What does this button do? How do I move my character around? How do I block? What's my biggest button? How do I perform this special move? Etc. At this stage, it's best to explore and experiment to see if you like the character or game you are playing before taking a deeper dive. The time spent in this phase can vary a lot, but I often think of this as the shortest stage we're going to discuss. After a few hours, days, or weeks, depending on your game, character, prior skills, or time invested, you'll probably be in a mood for a little extra. When I'm bored of moving around and seeing what my buttons look like, I look up... Combo! Now that you know what some buttons look like, and got a basic feel for the game engine, you'll probably want some nifty combos to get the most out of your character. Stage 2 is where I really decide how much effort I want to invest in a game. For some games, the combos I'd need to learn in order to play the game deeper are small and easy. For others, it's going to be a larger time investment. At this stage, I'm usually not focusing on the overall game interactions with my opponent. I focus on trying to land combos and setups I've practiced so I can get comfortable with the execution. Once you've gotten more confident in combo and setup execution, we can finally start Think, Mark, think. With knowledge of your character's combos and setups, as well as a basic feel for the game, it's time to finally focus on how to play and think critically about the game. This stage of learning is by far the longest, and also where the distinction of beginner gets a little fuzzy. As you approach mid and higher levels of play, you are likely still at this thinking stage, but with more knowledge of the overall game. Coming back to the beginner level of the thinking stage, this is where you will build up a stronger game plan and learn about unique interactions in the game. Prior to this stage, I find it hard to focus on how interactions will play out and what I need to do to win. Armed with combos and setups, you can take a lot of pressure off your mental stack by knowing how you can execute your combo when you need to. Put that mental stack to work on how your opponent is playing and what you need to do to adapt and improve. Those are the three stages I separate when I'm beginning a new fighting game or a new character in a fighting game. However, I have a few more notes on this. Don't get frustrated about your progress. It will take time and effort to improve at each of these stages. Consistent practice as well as consistent rest is important to get over the physical hurdles, such as muscle memory, habits, and tough execution, as well as the mental hurdles, learning to adapt, building your offense and defense, etc. You won't always progress at the same pace as your friends and rivals. Don't let this frustrate you. There are many times where I get into a new game or start a new character and people I know shoot right past me. Don't let their progress discourage you. Keep at it and you'll keep improving. On the topic of changing characters or games, don't expect all of your progress to carry over between each character or game. Changing between characters might help you skip some of the things in each stage, such as learning system mechanics or testing their buttons. However, you are still learning something different. If you switch from one 2D game to another 2D game, you may have some experience moving in a 2D space, However, a lot of the other elements in a new game may be unfamiliar. Don't be hard on your progress after changing characters or games. That's all I got for today. Good luck in your progress and keep at it.